This video is for learning aim B1. We're looking at the threats to data and why systems are attacked. So one reason for trying to attack a system could be for fun or a challenge. So sometimes people might do this to either kind of entertain themselves or they might see the actual hacking as a challenge. So friends or other hackers sometimes give people respect for when they've actually achieved some sort of hack. Some people actually compete for notoriety, in other words, for being famous for doing something bad. There can be a sense of achievement if you do this successfully. Industrial espionage is essentially spying on other businesses. The aim is usually to try and find some sort of intellectual property that could be stolen. These could be designs or blueprints for products or some software source code. It could be something like a medical formula for a vaccine. They can then sell those uh, this intellectual property or they could copy the product design. Industrial espionage is normally carried out by someone who's planted into a company where they'll go through the whole job application process get the job in the actual business and pretend to be a normal uh, worker or member of staff. So when they start to build up some good relationships with other staff in the actual organization, they make it a little bit easier for them to be able to steal the information and pass it on to somebody else. Financial gain is a really obvious reason for hacking a system. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this to gain financially. It could just be from theft from a bank account or from buying something online and not actually paying for it. Ransomware obviously causes payment to be requested to unlock the computer. So as a hacker, you could plant some ransomware and you will gain financial um, income from people actually paying the ransom. Another reason is white hat hacking, which is basically doing the job for good. So hacking into systems when you've been asked to hack into systems and report back on them. Obviously this is an actual job sometimes and you can get financial gain from doing so. A personal attack is something where an employee might be unhappy with the company or they might disagree with something that the company is actually doing. So a personal attack is when you are attacking the system from inside the company and it's usually for a personal reason. It's often something to do with being overlooked for a promotion, being fired or possibly if you're upset over some sort of personal thing within the company. So disruption is when you are deliberately trying to disrupt the service of a company. This could be for a number of reasons, so it might pair up with some of the other reasons for trying to hack. So to disrupt an actual company, if you use something like a, a denial of service attack, you could completely disrupt an entire company. You could stop the website from working. You could stop all workers from getting any work done. Sometimes this could be to a random company or sometimes it could be to a rival that you want to disrupt. Often it can be for some sort of political reason, such as taking down a government website. The whole aim is to disrupt the complete service of that network. Finally, we have another aim, which is essentially to try and steal information or data. So credit card and financial details can be stolen to gain money. Company information could be stolen for example, plans for technologies or medical drug formulas, and personal details could be stolen for identity theft. So there's varying reasons for why you might want to cause or might want to go through with the theft of the data. However, one specific cause is just information or data theft. <laughs>